Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. I am recording for the first time since my vacation, which you guys don't know about. Um, but we went to Mexico with the family for 10 days and we returned a week ago. Uh, and this is the first time I am recording. I have a busy day. I purchased two cars from IA. One of them is a clean title. The other one is a high mileage BMW, but it's a very desirable BMW. And service history looks pretty good on it. And the damage from what I saw is extremely minimal. So I took the risk um, because I was trying to buy up other cars. There's even like a turbo or maybe a Pro Charger V6 Auto Mustang that went through the auction uh, in Seattle. It doesn't make sense to me why someone would do that to a six cylinder automatic Mustang, but it is what it is. I try to buy basically a few like more or less fun cars that I thought would sell pretty quick and uh, was empty handed. So I did pull the trigger on this BMW and I think with fees, uh, like 2,800 bucks into it, which isn't bad. But the other thing I want you guys to get used to, uh, <laughs> very different uh, my head is very cold right now um, two three days before Mexico trip I went bald completely bald and it is really cold here and my bald head is not used to it <clears throat> but I think I will stay bald maybe until the end of summer so more or less be shocked now but future videos uh, that are recorded after today there's other videos that I was you know working on prior so I'll probably look a little funny uh, head with hair and then bald head um, but the plan right now is I am going to swap vehicles I need a tow rig um, and I guess once I am at the auction we will go from there so I wanted to say welcome Appreciate you guys watching. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Really appreciate you guys' support. Channel is slowly growing. It's all organic growth. Um, and it's made possible because of you guys. So I appreciate that. Let's get this party started. Let's get these cars picked up. I feel like I just got here in time. I'm gonna prep the trailer. And now everything is starting to get kind of packed and swamped. But yeah, going to get the trailer prepped and BMW is coming out first. And there it is. So the only damage is right here. As you guys can see, that's not straight. The tires look to be essentially new. The only problem is they're all a little bit low very minor damage right there this cover is missing I'm curious if it'll be inside but the bigger issue that I'm worried about is right here yeah that looks like it's punctured um, which means I'll need new tires and it's unfortunate because these literally look new but the reason why I bought this car it's a six-speed manual so it's a three pedal car But I believe I mentioned that this is a higher mileage example. But the reason why I decided to uh, take a risk on a higher mileage BMW, especially, you know, one that's considered like a, a more performance model, uh, is because it looks completely stock. So it's not lowered. It has no aftermarket wheels. It has even, you know, no tint on the windows. So the car looks completely stock, which to me is obviously a good sign. It more or less shows that, at least I hope, that it was owned by responsible individuals. And uh, history of the vehicle looks good. Uh, I think the most recent service was the whole cooling system was gone through. Um, obviously, I didn't check any fluids or anything at the auction once we get this car back to the lot. Um, I will do that and I want to see 
which control arm is bent so that I could order it and get it replaced. Uh, I'll also need to take a few pictures home with me about the uh, tires and see if I could maybe find one tire, the exact same one because it's an XI, it's all wheel drive, so I want the tread and the tire to be exact as the others. Um, it doesn't make sense to buy a set of four when honestly they look brand new. Uh, and I don't remember if it was this car or another car that I pulled the Carfax on and it showed that uh, they the tires were replaced a thousand miles ago. It honestly could be this car because they really do need, look new. And I heard the engine run at the auction. It sounded healthy. I didn't hear any issues with it. I guess my gamble was uh, more or less transmission uh, because just recently I the yellow Pontiac did have major transmission issues and I had to take that car back to the auction. It just wasn't worth fixing. Um, I don't know. Took a risk, hoping for a clean example, and in person it does look clean, does look well cared for. So we'll see once we get it to the lot and uh, hopefully this was a good purchase. A little longer than a few minutes later. Made it to the lot and it's starting to rain so I gotta hurry up because I got another car to pick up so I cut the key off pop the hood open because they won't need a jump so let's quickly check fluids fluids coolant coolant I see a tiny bit at the bottom but I think we might have to add some and who knows maybe it's leaking coolant from the bottom somewhere what else we got oil but this is going to be electronically checked but our cap looks totally fine no milkiness honestly I think that's about it that I can check on this car so let me get this positioned so we could start it okay there we go key in okay well she started up sounds healthy I would say as far as I know. Yeah. Yes. Motor sounds healthy. No knocking, no weird ticking. So I'll let it warm up. I see one of the headlights is out, the halos. And I think they just have a small bulb somewhere in here in the headlight that you could replace and it basically lights up the halos. But I need to unstrap it because I can't put these down. Too much weight in the front and uh, I'll need to back it up a little bit on the trailer and then pull all of this out and then I could unload this car. And we are going to crab because of this rear tire. So hopefully I could get it off in one go with no issues. 4x4, yes I expect that. Low tires, yup. And that's it. So, got the car unloaded, but unfortunately I think these tires I will not be able to save because I tried to pump them up. And this one does not hold any air, and then I see stuff like this. And then when I felt on the other side, it felt like there was a hole. So although the tread is amazing, unfortunately I think I'll need all new tires on this car. I can't take it down the street for obvious reasons, but it is like dark gray, over black, sport seats, looks like we have navigation, the beautiful six speed. I do smell a little bit of oil from the engine bay, so we'll have to see maybe once I get it road ready, take it to my mechanic, have them fully inspect it. But it looks nice. We have four zone climate controls right here. We have heated seats. We have a moonroof. I mean, honestly, I think this one is fully loaded for the year for what it is. Um, and it sounds healthy, so 
as long as there's no transmission issues and I didn't feel anything weird when I was pulling it off the trailer, this one should be a winner. But now the ultimate test, I'm going to kill it, see if it'll start on its own. Nope, I already see a flickering. It will not, so I'll probably need a new battery on it too. BMW is left. Now we go get to pick up the next car. Now this next one is definitely not as cool, not as exciting as the BMW. But this one was a donated vehicle through charitable audible donations or something like that uh through iaa it's a 2003 ford taurus not the best looking car but it has like 80,000 miles it's a run and drive so as long as it has no major mechanical issues that one should be a really quick and easy flip um and i guess we'll see like is it even possible to get a clean title car with no issues, that's turnkey, more or less ready to go. By the pictures, it looks pretty clean. I don't remember if I heard this one running or not. Um, yeah, I'm assuming I did because I've been on it. Obviously, if I would have heard something weird, then I wouldn't have. Uh, but I think with fees, I'm probably like $800 into this one. Maybe a little over 800 bucks. And a clean title, run and drive, Ford with 80,000 miles, honestly, like, you can't go wrong. Worst case scenario, I double my money, maybe get two grand out of it, and then use that money to fix up the BMW. I don't know, I've done that before. Uh, one was a project, one was a very easy sale, and then use the money from the other one, and from the sale, the easier one, and uh, put it into the one that needed more love. So heading back to IA right now um, And let's see how this one goes much 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 later Holy smokes that took forever That was way longer than it should have been There's trucks that came in after me that started to get their stuff pulled out. I was like yo something's off Went in there Oh yeah, it's on there. I just don't know why they didn't bring it out. As you can see, we're busy. Well, yeah, dude, I'm busy too. I don't got time to wait around here. BMW was legit like 20 minutes. This, well over an hour, and it's cold outside, if you guys can't tell by my face. Uh, so, got it strapped down, heading out to the lot, and then at the lot, we'll take a look. Uh, honestly, it actually looks pretty nice. I might even take it home today. Uh, just to see how it drives uh, I saw well took a peek inside the interior looks like it'll just need a very Quick like vacuum and whatnot Nothing too crazy uh, overall condition seems to be pretty nice tires look to be uh, Nearly new so if it has no mechanical issues I'll take it home drive it maybe do a simple vacuum and then tomorrow will be uh, up for grabs I hope if all goes as planned but right now heading to the lot, getting it un unloaded, and we'll kind of go from there. A little longer than a few minutes later. Somewhat trying to speed up this whole process. Got the jump box on. And she started. Sounds very healthy. No lights on, but obviously battery was dead. Let me roll this down. Uh, same as before. Let it run, let it warm up. I'll get the trailer prepped for unloading. But yeah, she sounds healthy. So now if we have no transmission issues, we're gonna be solid. And it looks like we have new ignition wiring. Engine looks pretty good in the sense of no active oil leaks or whatnot. And see the tread on the tires is phenomenal. So these look to be essentially brand new and yeah outside very simple easy wash again clean title rig unfortunately battery is no good so I can't take it through DQ but again maybe I'll let it run see how well it runs and go from there the old-school bench seats even this in the front <laughs> looks almost old school but yeah for the most part look no staining in the interior whatsoever just minor things like this to vacuum up and clean up but look even the panels right here look to be i would say in 
really, really good shape. And the front, where it's usually the dirtiest, just get that cleaned up. What do we have here? What is this? Oh, is this to shatter glass? And then, okay, anyways. Um, yeah, honestly, like very minor wipe down where the hands go. Vacuum there, clean it up, and this one should be good to go. Again, if no mechanical issues, windshield isn't cracked, she purrs. Oh, look at that. That doesn't look too good, but it's sellable. 800 bucks. Oh, Char charitable adult rides. I was thinking audit for some reason. But yeah, this is it. $800. Simple, easy, and hopefully it'll be a quick sale. Let's see, brake pads. Brake pads look to be new and new, which is good. Let it run and let it, let's unload it. Okay, Ford sounded healthy, healthy. Uh, I pulled it off the trailer, gave it a little bit of gas, you know, from there to here. It has power, so I don't feel anything. The motor actually, it just purrs. So as long as there's no training issues or overheating issues, that's going to be a winner. For 800 bucks, that's a winner. Tax season is about to start within, you know, two weeks or so. Um, that's a $2,500 car with those miles. So... Okay, well the plan is now I have to take the trailer back because the trailer is stored at my brother's house and he lives across the bridge in Washington. And unfortunately, my morning started early but because IEA took their sweet time, it is past one o'clock. And closer to two is when traffic starts to build up over I-5 and I-205, both bridges, so I want to get that done, get it out of the way, and then come back and uh, get a better thorough look at the, at the Ford, and then take it down the street, drive it, see if I need to order a new battery. If I do, I might still order a new battery and then take it home, start kind of driving it and maybe prep it for tomorrow, but we'll see. A little longer than a few minutes later. I am now back at the lot. Um, yeah, connected my battery tester and it is showing me absolutely no juice. So my assumption is that that battery is going to be dead, dead, dead. So I will jump start it again, take it down the street and then most likely just order in your battery. So that next customer is happy. But again, I just want to make sure that there's no like, major mechanical issues and that it's actually worth putting a new battery into this car. I hope the jump box still has enough juice. It does, it does. And again, it started pretty darn well. Let's get the heat going, make sure everything is working as it should. Let's go on our drive. The two times I started the car, I told myself I gotta check fluids, oil and everything else. But honestly, it sounds fine, so I think it'll be okay. I did not check levels, but it feels like it's going through all the gears. I don't hear anything. Like not even a rattle from the suspension um, going over bumps. So I'd say this one was a very successful purchase. Go slowing down, hitting the brakes. Everything feels very buttoned down, it shifts smooth. And for the most part, I mean, it's a pretty clean car. So I think to answer my own earlier question, can you get a clean title car from IAA, and we could say Copar for that matter also, and have it be turnkey? With a dead battery, no, but I mean, in theory, yes, this is a turnkey car, put a battery in, and obviously I'm driving it now. Seems like it's totally fine. So I think I'll make my way back to the lot um, and order a new battery for this thing. Or maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I have another car to kind of finish up. 
I did do a two mile loop. Um, battery somewhat like I'm able to read it, but my tester is saying replace battery because it's reading at like 112 cold cranking amps. So I will do that. Um, I did get heat from the vents and no issues aside from that here. Yeah, it looks like we have fresh oil. Um, cool it. Car shouldn't be overly hot, but we have heat. Why am I even checking that? So uh, battery and honestly minor cleanup and this car is ready to go. And I actually opened the trunk. I want to see if there's anything cool, exciting in there. Um, no, not really, but this isn't bad. This isn't bad. It looks like litter stuff. So like I said, very minor cleanup is what this car will require. And I'll get that done. So I think um, the four Taurus I have sorted. Um, I know what I need to do and it is extremely simple and I think I actually even have two sets of keys for this car but every single time I put so many keys in different pockets and then it seems like I go through four of my pockets before I find the keys that I'm actually looking for um, so I will go upstairs get a battery ordered put my jump box on a charger Come down here, take out this battery, and uh, and then I get to lift up the 335, see what control arm is bent, get some pictures of the tire size, and we'll go from there on this one. My father stopped by and I totally forgot to record, so I did lift this up, I did check it. Obviously there's no obvious signs of which control arm is at fault. So I'll probably have to replace a whole bunch of them, just to be sure. A little longer than a few minutes later. New battery installed. I believe it was $82.62. Now, let's make sure that it starts. Key. Oops. Ignition. Beautiful. There we have it. Um, I will not be taking this car home today. I got another car that's closer to being done, so I want to finish that one up. Um, plus, well, we'll see, but um, I'm not planning on taking this one home. Um, but I want to say thank you for watching. And I want to know what your guys' opinion is on the Ford and the BMW. Obviously, BMW is a much nicer car, more fun. I am excited for it but I can't take it home. It needs some love, it needs some uh, repairs and whatnot. And then I get to uh, plug and play, dial it in, make sure everything is sorted before it goes to the next customer. The Ford, obviously it seems like this one is a no-brainer. Minor cleanup detail, uh, new battery in it, and this one should be good to go to its next home. I didn't notice any issues, but obviously I will take it home uh, probably tomorrow and actually drive it see how it feels and go from there but yeah I think BMW with fees was around $28, $2,900 and this car was under $850 bucks, if I remember correctly so I'd say both for what they are were great purchases I am happy with both thank you for watching thank you for your support um, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in another video